just like breathing. You shouldn't even think about it. You should just do it. In this video, we're going to work on distraction ball handling and something that's often overlooked, lateral movement. Let's get to work. technique stuff to make sure that we're all on the same page of exactly what we're trying to do here. You've got your tennis ball or something like a tennis ball that you're going to be able to throw in the air and catch. Okay, That's the distraction piece. You're going to be focused on catching the ball while the other hand is dribbling the basketball. Similar to the concept of breathing, we don't want to think about it. We just want to be able to do it. Okay, So first thing is I want to just get her into a pound dribble so you can see what my expectations are. Go ahead. Pound dribble. So she's dribbling the ball outside of her right foot. She's dribbling the ball with her right hand. She's a little above her knee right now. The higher we can get, the more control that we'll have to show to keep that ball. So I'm going to keep her here the entire time. Now, she's going to throw the ball up and let it hit the ground. This would be more of a beginner, okay? If you're just getting started and you haven't done this before, go ahead and throw the ball up and then snatch it when it comes back up, okay? And as you get good at it, you're going to start taking away that bounce, okay? She's taking away the bounce, throwing it up, catching it, throwing it up, catching it. Okay, now I'm going to have her pick it up real quick. I'm going to have her throw it up. And just snatch it, snatch it, snatch it. Go ahead. Now this is where I want her to live because she's done this before. Okay? She knows what she's doing. Okay? Now we talk a lot about hand fighting in our program. If the defenders can put their hands on you, then you should be able to take their hands off. This is a good technique to start putting that into your brain. That when those hands come on you, you can grab them and pull them off. So I like to see her snatch that ball out of the air. Okay, I think we're ready to get started. Okay, we're going to do distraction ball handling. And then we're going to switch gears into lateral movement, and we're just going to repeat, 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 okay? First thing we're going to do is the pound dribble, okay? Let's start with our left hand. We're going to do left hand at pounds, get that ball above your knee, and you're going to throw the tennis ball at your pace at home, okay? Go ahead, let's start. We're going to go for a full 30 seconds. Now, I know in this one, a lot of times you make mistakes and you got to go run and get the ball. Okay, so we're going to give you a full 30 seconds to get as much as, as much as we can. Okay, and if you're skilled enough and you're getting to the point where you can snatch that ball out of the air, I, mean, I want you to push yourself. I want you to snatch that ball and practice your hand fighting and practice your great hand-eye coordination uh, while, you're, while you're taking your focus off dribbling. And we're going to switch to the other side. We're on the right side now. Okay, let's go. You got another 30 seconds on this side. Okay, great job. She's really, really ripping that ball out of the air, and that's exactly what I want to see. But at the same time, you can see that ball on the side is just dribbling the exact same tempo the entire time. Okay? Her mind is off the ball, but yet the ball continues to push. The ball continues to go. Okay? We don't want to see you lose the ball as you throw the tennis ball up in the air because you can't keep your focus. Okay, go ahead and stop. Okay, next drill is now you're going to add a crossover. So you're catching the ball with the other hand. Okay, ready and go. Okay, so now you're doing a pound on one side, crossing over to the other. Okay, again, if you get skilled enough, you're doing this at your own tempo at home. If you're good enough to snatch down on that basketball, snatch down on that basketball. If you're struggling with this drill and you need that, you need that tennis ball to take a bounce on the floor, take a bounce on the floor. We're only competing against ourselves to get better today. That's it. So figure out how you're going to get better today. Figure out how you're going to push yourself today. And that's good enough. That's all we need. Okay, keep going, keep going. Final one here. Good job, good job. Okay, time. Put the ball down. You guys get a 30-second break at home. Okay, we're going to go into our lateral movement stuff. I always think this is a little bit underrated or a little bit overlooked at times. Okay, as a basketball player, we live in this low hip position. We live with a wide base. And all of our great, quick movements are side to side. Okay, if you can move side to side, you can be an excellent defender. Okay, so first we're going to start with a side lunge. Okay, we're on the clock in four seconds, and we're going to do ten on each side. Okay, ready? Go. Going right, pointing your pointing your toes toward, forward. Going left. Very nice. Okay, she's keeping her hands on her hips. I like that technique. Okay, it's very important that you try to keep your knee above your ankle. Okay, you really want to you really want to practice good smart technique and work the proper muscles okay, and be safe. All right, we're building those muscles around the knee on our lunge and we're really working those hips and starting to build those muscles that are going to make us quick side to side. Okay, we're working 10 on each side and we're just alternating right now. 
Good, good. Let's keep those hips nice and low. Okay, go. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's exactly what I want to see. Okay, I want to see them nice and low. I want to see a good, solid lunge with good technique. Good, good. Very good. What are we at? 16. Okay, we've got a few more. And then the next one we're going to do is skate jumps. So we're going to try to jump side to side on this one. Okay, is that it? One more. Boom. Okay, so you're watching Kieran skate jumps. You're going to try to explode from side to side, landing on your outside foot. Get as much distance as you can on your skate jump. Good. Very nice. Good. Good. We're going to go here for 30 seconds, so you're really going to burn on this one. Keep pushing yourself to get as much distance on your skate jump as you can. Okay? I really want to see you explode. Go ahead. Good. Get to that other side. Get to that other side. If you've got lines in your floor, okay, great. Try to get over those lines. Try to push yourself to a spot where you're really, really digging. You're really, really going. Good. And time. Okay, I want you all in the plank position at home. Go ahead and get in the plank position, Kara. Okay, this one's a stretch. Okay, now we're going to take our right foot and we're going to lift it to our right hand. And we're going to hold that. Now, the whole time, we really want to see that straight line. Okay, we want to see a straight flat back. We want to see a straight line from your shoulder blades all the way down to your heel. Okay, we're going to hold that count for about 10 seconds and switch. Okay, we're going to switch to the other side. You got another 10 seconds on this one. Find that nice stretch. Good. Keep that core nice and tight and switch. We're back to the right side. Last one over here. Good. Hold everything in place nice and still and switch. Last one. Good. Good. Way to keep that core nice and tight. Nice job. And done. Get a 30 second water break. Okay. When you guys are taking your 30 second water break, start to locate that tennis ball, that basketball. In about 20 seconds, we're going to be back on, okay? And now instead of doing pounds, we're going to do a pro style in and out. Can you show us real quick? So instead of just doing a flat pound, she's rocking that ball and palming it over the top like a pro style in and out. Now we're going to add that tennis ball just like we've been doing. In three, two, one, left side, let's go. Good, good, good. Again, if you're skilled enough to snatch that ball, snatch that ball. Okay, if you need a little work right now and you need to let that ball bounce and hit the ground, go ahead, let that ball bounce. Okay, we're just trying to make ourselves better right now. We're not trying to compete against anybody else. We're just trying to get better. Good, good. Let's get a little louder bounce on that in and out. Let's really slam that ball into the ground. Remember when we do our pro style in and outs? We really want to throw that ball into the ground as quick as we can. Good, I got you. And switch. Right side. 30 seconds on this side. Good. Good, I like that, I like that. She's really got good hand fighting techniques with her left hand. Okay, I really want to see you snatch that ball as quickly as you can. Focus is on your hand eye. It gets the focus off your basketball. Okay, and you get that great hand fighting technique that we love. Okay, next one's going to be a little challenging. In five. And time. We're going to go scissors. Now we're going to go scissor, okay? So as the ball goes up, you're going to switch to a scissor, catch it in the other side, okay? Ready and go. 30 seconds on the clock. So you're just doing a scissor dribble, okay? She's got a good lunge step when she does it, okay? I like that. I like building in those techniques in your head, okay? Because when you do a scissor in a game, you're definitely stepping and you're definitely lunging to try to go by somebody. Good, 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 good. 10 more seconds. Let's get the most out of this. Good, good, very nice, very nice. Way to work, way to work. Good, good, good. Good, I know this is challenging at home too. Yeah, I know this is really tricky. This is one of the harder ones that we're going to do today. This is definitely the hardest in this rotation and time. Okay, balls up. You got 30 seconds. Get a quick drink of water. And then we're back to lateral movements. Need a drink? Okay, so this is going to be the same round as... We did the first time, you're going to start with side lunges, then we're going to go skate jumps, and then we're going to do the Spider-Man stretch. Now, our good friend, Brad Packer, A3, he gave me a lot of great info for this workout. Uh, he really, really pushes that lateral movement. I love his stuff, and so he really helped, helped uh, design this workout and put this thing together. Side lunges, let's go. You're going to do 10 on each side, 
and we're alternating. Good. Let's make sure we let's make sure we've got the technique perfect. Getting nice and low. Again, that knee over that ankle. Okay. Good. Good. Very nice. Very nice. It's exactly what we want to see right there. Good stuff. Good stuff. Keep getting low. Keep driving those hips down. Good. Fighting to keep those shoulders up. Fighting to make sure that we keep our back straight. Okay. A lot of you are going to start putting your hands on your knees to push off. If you, if you can do that, if you can do this lunge without putting your hands on your knees, do it. Push yourself to get stronger. We're going to get really, really good with our lateral movement today. Okay, so now we're on skate jumps. Okay, skate jumps, same thing as, for, as the first round. Get as wide as you can. Ready? Go. Good. Get as far as you can. I want you over this line right here. I want you over that line, and I want you over the red line on that side. Good, 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 good. Push yourself. Push yourself. Nice job. Nice job. Good. If you have lines at home, use them. Gives you a little mini goal for this workout so you continue to push yourself. You continue to fight for getting as wide as you can on this and explosive on your lateral movements. Good, good. Nice job. Ten more seconds. Ten more seconds. Okay, I know it burns. I know it hurts. We're going to push right through this. And time. Go ahead and get down in your plank position. Let's hold that plank nice and tight. Okay, be very, very strong. In your plank position, your right foot to your right hand. Go ahead. Nice stretch. We're going to hold that there for 10 seconds. Good. Keeping that flat line from our shoulders to our hip. Switch. Good. Feel that nice stretch. Feel that nice deep stretch. Good. And switch. Last one on your right side. Last one of the entire workout. We're almost to the halfway point. And switch. Good. And full minute water break. Full minute water break on this one. Okay, so the next round that we've got store for you is going to be our doubles round. So now when you do your distraction ball technique, you're throwing the ball up in the air, and we're going to have you going over and back. These can be incredibly challenging. So like I said before, go at your own pace. If you need to let that ball bounce in front of you, that's great. And you notice when you watch Kira do these ball handling, a lot of times she throws a bad, a bad throw in the air. It's okay to go get it. I like that you go get it. I like that you continue to dribble and still try to catch that ball. Don't just give up and put your ball down and go get it. Try to catch it in the air, even if it's a bad throw. If you're still dribbling that basketball, it's going to make you better. Okay, Kira, are you ready? First one's going to be a scissor, scissor. Okay, so now you're going to throw the ball up. Scissor, scissor, catch. Okay, so you're catching the ball with the same hand you throw it on. Ready, and go. Good, good, good. Scissor, scissor. Good, that's okay, that's okay. Let's get this thing down. Good, good. Now, you at home, if you need to let that ball hit the ground, if you need to let that tennis ball hit the ground, that's okay. Just snatch that thing when it comes back up. Okay, that's where Kira's at right now. Okay, she's got to snatch that thing when it comes back up. Good, 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 good. Ten more seconds. Let's get some good ones in. Let's get some good ones in. Good, 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 good. Rip, your, rip those scissors. Rip those scissors. Your scissors are too lazy right now. There you go. Okay, switch hands. Now we're on our right, now we're on whatever, the opposite hand, okay, and we're throwing and catching with the same hand. Scissor, scissor, let's go. Much better, much better. Come on, let's go, let's go. Good, good, good. Very nice, very nice. Okay, sometimes that happens where you have a bad round. Okay, keep your mind right and keep pushing. Keep your mind right and keep getting better. Okay, if we start throwing little fits, if we start worrying about things that, we, that are out of our control, that happened in the past, okay, we're not going to get better. All right, I like the refocus. I like how we're working in here. Okay, now we're on to scissor behind the back. Okay, so you're going to go ball in the air, scissor behind the back. Ready, go. Good, good, good. Nicely done, nicely done. Good, good. Explode on those behind the back. Get that ball back quickly. Good, good, good. We got you. 
Good, good. You're going to make a lot of mistakes on these. Okay, we all know that. We're all making mistakes at home. What's the most important play? The next play. Okay, I know you guys said that with me at home. The most important play is the next play. We're going to switch to the other side. Go ahead. Scissor behind the back. Scissor behind the back. Fight through those mistakes. Stay focused. And keep worrying about the next play. Good. Ten more seconds. Let's get the most out of this. And time. Okay. So now we're going to go back into our into our leg stuff. Okay. The first first one we're going to do while you take your thirty second water break is the knees to the chest. Okay. Because in order to have great lateral movement, you also have to have great core. Okay. So we're going to get a nice wide base. You're going to put your hands on one side of your ear, reach across, and bring your knee up. Okay. Just like that. Okay. On the clock in five. So this is knees to chest. We're going to start by going right knee up. Okay, right knee. Ready, go. Good, good. Wider base, wider base. Good. I want you wide. I want your hips low. And I want you really exploding that knee up into those hands. Okay, bring those hands up to the ear. And then bring them back quickly and slam them into your knee. Switch sides. Good, 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 good. Very nice, very nice. Keep that core nice and tight. Okay, keep everything strong, keep everything focused. I don't want to see those knees start to stand up. I don't want to see that body level start to rise. Good, quick, quick, quick. Rip that thing, rip that thing right into your knee. Right into your knee. Good, quick, 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 quick. Explode, explode, and time, okay? So now we're gonna work on lateral reactions. Now we put a couple cones right here, okay? If you've got something at home, that's great. If you just have a mark on the floor, or even if you're just gonna imagine there's a mark on the floor there, Kira's gonna start in the middle, She's going to be in a defensive slide position. I'm going to have her chop them. Okay, go ahead and chop them. Hands out. Wide feet. Nice and low hips. And you're on my call. We're going right. Good. We're going left. Very nice. We're going left. Good. We're going right. Good. And left. Left. Right. Right. And chop them, chop them, chop them, chop them, chop them, chop them. Get low, get low. Look at her elevation starting to come up. I want you, I want you down low at home. I want you down low. Left. And time. Nice job, nice job. Okay, you got a break. You got a 30-second water break before our last round of ball handling. This one is designed to get harder. Okay, this one's, when we go into these double rounds, when we go back and forth, you might need to let that ball hit the ground. That's okay. That's okay. Just keep working and keep getting better. First one we're going to do is going to be a cross scissor. So you're going to cross over, scissor, you're catching with the same hand you throw it up in. Okay, ready and go. Cross scissor. Good, good. Way to go get that. Way to go get that ball. I like it. I like it. Good. If you're able to go snatch that ball when you throw a bad throw and you keep your dribble the whole time, that's great stuff. You're getting better if you're doing that. Good, 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 good. Ten seconds left. Very nice. Cross scissor. And beautiful. Five seconds. Time. Okay, we're going to switch you over to the other side. Cross scissors. Ready. Go. Go, good, good. Cross scissors. Good, 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 good. We gotta get those throws down. We gotta get that. We gotta get that mind on that tennis ball. We get that mind on the tennis ball. And we're doing exactly what we're trying to do with this drill. Okay, we're just dribbling like it's breathing, and you don't even think about it. Good. Five seconds. Let's get one or two more great ones in. Very nice. Very nice. And time. Good job. Good job. Okay. Last one is gonna be the freestyle. Okay, with freestyle, you get to start to push yourself at your pace now, okay? If you need to go back and just do pounds, go back and just do pounds. But if you're ready to start doing multiple combos and making stuff up as you go and just starting to really, really increase kind of your capabilities with throwing tennis ball up in the air, go for it, okay? You got a full 45 seconds on this round, freestyle. Ready, go. Good. Make sure you get those legs wide. Make sure you get those hips low. Okay, 
you guys all should have my voice in your head every time you go to get low. Wide base, low hips every single time. Good, good, good. Five seconds. And time. Okay, let's go ahead and put the basketballs away. We're going to go one last round. Okay, we're going to work our core. Then we're going to go back to our lateral movements. Okay, remember, we're, we're, our hands are up on our ear. Okay, we're in a great wide athletic base. And then we're pulling that knee up as fast as we can. Okay, you got 15 seconds left of your water break. And then it's on. Okay, let's get a nice wide base this time. Okay, even wider, even wider. Okay, bend those knees. Get those hips low. Ready. Go. Good, good. Slam those hands down into that knee. Slam those hands down into the knee. Good, good. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Good, 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 good. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. We're going to do a double time on this one. Let's go to our left. Let's go. Switch to the other side. Good. Very good. Good technique. Good technique. Way to keep those knees bent. Way to keep those hips low. I like it. I like it. I like it. Switch back. Switch back. We're back to the original side. Really pushing. Really pushing. We know this is the last one, so we're really selling out. And switch. Good. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Love it, love it. And time, okay? Give me, a, give me a defensive stance right in the middle of the cones or whatever your markers are at home. Okay, you're on my call. And chop them, let's go. Okay, I want those hips lower. I want those hips lower, okay? I want you to be a dog on defense. Get low, get low and get, get to work. And left. And right, right, left, good, lower hips, lower hips, lower hips, left, good, good, good reactions, right, very nice, very nice, low hips, low hips, let's see if we can mix it, mix it up a little, up, good, nice, accelerate up when I go up, good, good, and left. Low hips, low hips, low hips. I know it burns. I know it burns. Chop them. Chop those toes as fast as you can. Chop those toes in time. Good job, girls. Great work. Great work. We should be right around 20 minutes. You guys killed it today. Okay, I knew that was going to be a tough one. I knew that was going to be a really, really tough workout. Very challenging ball handling stuff, but that lateral movement stuff, okay, that's, that's no joke. We need that stuff to be great, great defenders, all right? Good job today. Stay safe. We'll see you tomorrow.